sound okay for secret Team for liquid oh they take Eva. no reliable stun so far on the side of liquid yep and he can get back and really punish that keeper of the light in the back lines i mean but mana leak's pretty good against weaver isn't it if you can hit it once yeah. you got lincoln sphere up and running there you don't have a lot to really trigger uh the Ten lincoln sphere remain. that's a good point Yep, GH 19 and 5 on his Keeper of Light in his pro career. The only player over 400 gold per minute on this hero in five or more appearances. He gets his ags up extraordinarily quickly. Shout out to Bulldog. Yeah. Very good pick. Anyway. So, cause for Liquid. You got the Weaver, you don't have the lockdown. How do you get it out of your 2 on your 1 position? Uh, you're two in your three position. I don't know. Just bring it old school. Pick like Bristle and just run at them. <laughs> Bristle, Ooh. sick. Br yep. Br Bristle cut off would be nice, and you like lone druid it SD. It's no. I miss that hero. Bristle, Bristle is, is the garbage. least picked hero yeah. in they professional Dota so far this patch. Yeah, if right. you're gonna bring back the Coddle, just bring back his partner. Sure, you know. Let's what, just what, a, him. what about describing something like a Legion Commander? I know you don't have great ways to trigger that Lincoln Sphere already, but they need something that's able to stand in the lane and at least be stronger. LC's pretty good. I'd be okay with LC. We can go for the old pub build of the uh, the Keeper Chaos Knight. Unlimited mana, a lot of burst there. Well, well, as long as we're talking about old school Coddle combos, how about PL or Storm? Oh, no. <laughs> Nobody wants to do PL Coddle to Haas. That's, that's the dirty right there. I, I don't think Blitz's heart can take another Storm game either. I'd be so sad if Nick's lost Assassin. Him. There's F3. Hello. Nick's Assassin doing pretty good in this tournament so far. Right. You know, the other, the other really smart thing about that Nyx Assassin pick is it makes Secret think twice about picking Medusa fifth. Which is, is definitely really something that they could have gone. It's that big of an uh, anti-Dusa pick? It's oh! The <laughs> there you go. Seconds remaining. I mean, the mana, the mana burn is okay. I, they already have Keeper of the Light, though. I, Dusa picking of this is looking pretty scary, honestly. What, for Secret? Yeah. Turn to ban. Yeah, you, you can't do it anymore, though. Yeah, so yeah. With the, both the Mono Leak and the Mono Drain from it's Nyx. Uh, so ban Liquid uh, Secret, I mean. They're afraid that mm. that's an LD mid, and then you aggro with the Nyx Coddle, mm. and now you have an Ursa against a Tidehunter, which is one of the few matchups Ten that melee versus melee gets wrecked in. The other one is like, I think it's like Monkey Five King. That does quite well against this hero. Coming down here to the wire for Team Liquid. Monkey works. We've, we've seen a good amount of Miracle Monkey King recently. Team Liquid's turn to pick. So they ban SF? Try and secure that mid a little bit more. At okay. least from a large amount of negative armor with the ETs or a two, that would have been quite painful. Well, we got 15 seconds. I, I, need your, I need your intelligence. What do we got here? Oh no. <laughs> so they take the gyro themselves. That was a okay. hero that I thought Secret would take. Mid gyro. Yes, yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? We, we know. Oh, very good. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Team Secret, last one. Ten seconds remaining. Let's see. Gyrocopters. I mean, they got Weaver. That's some decent damage. They got Disruptor in case he gets about, take Razor. How about Deep? Razor. Razor. Razor's good. I can see LD. Oh, yes! What? Called it! Wait, Wait a minute. That's a core Kunker, too, right? Man, this is like the most confusing draft. I told you guys they were listening to me over there. Secret it's either Core uh, Kunkka or Core ET? Secret no, has got some cool stuff going on. It, it, it can't be a Core ET. They're already running the Tide in the three position. That's... It's got to be Core Kunkka. Unreal. Does it? All right, Toby. Game one. Best of five grand finals. Who have you got? Um, I'm sorry about the Kunkka, but I'm, I'm going to go Liquid. I'm going to go Liquid for game one. Secret. Gotta go with Kunks. Come on. He knows what he's doing. X marks the spot for a victory, baby. All right. Let's make it an even split. I will go with Liquid. Two EU teams. Best of five grand final. Let's get it ready. Send you over to the voices of Dream League. Here are Odie, Pixel, and Fogged. Thank you very much, Nahaz. Here we are at the ROG Dream League Major Grand Finals, Team Secret versus Team Liquid. And what a way to win the draft! We have a it. mid one core conquer. Talk to me about this, Fog. What, what is this that Secret are bringing out? Something that we never see really in competitive at the moment. 
I'm trying to see why they would want it so much in this game is really the thing. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Not too sure why. I think maybe it could have just been mid one wanted it. I really am in, I'm really intrigued to talk to some other coach after this and see what, what maybe one of the ideas is. Yeah. Maybe they just wanted to play it this time around. That's I'm... like one of the things I can see. And just the combo with team fight is the other thing. They have a massive amount of catch and team fight. Yeah. More. They have glitter to stop the so many and ways. X, that is... So many ways to catch you. So it's incredible catch potentials. And and then of course Liquid over the other side, they have got some very, very strong heroes. You've got well, we'll go through the rundown of them all so you guys are familiar with it at home as we get into this game. Well, we'll start with Secret. Secret, we have Puppy supporting on Disruptor. Ace is on the Weaver. Mid one, that core Kunkka, ladies and gentlemen. Fada on the offlane, tight enter. And Yapso, we've seen it once before, we'll see it again on his Elder Titan. Over on Liquid, GH bringing back his Keeper of the Light here in the Grand Finals of the Major. Mind Control on the core Nyx Assassin. Matumba Man, he'll be at the moment hovering around mid with the Lone Druid. Down bottom, Miracle playing the Gyro. And last but not least, Kuro on the Shadow Demon. So yeah, talk to me about this Liquid's lineup. It looks pretty damn scary. It is scary. I mean, they've got Matu on his signature, Lone Druid. That is pretty amazing. And GH on that coddle. They can make a lot happen in this early game. Oh, I'm talking about GH. He's been found out. Secret. They've got eyes on him. They'll send the spirit out. They have the vision for the mini glimpse. Looking for the body blocks. They've got it. Gush as well to slow him down. They'll surround him. Bring him out. GH is down. Puppy takes the first blood. Even skilling the X as well. They've really committed for that with their uh, abilities at level one. Gush. X, Glimpse, three of the not not the most favorable level one abilities, but yeah, just full out committing for that first blood. I just didn't think you catch any more. In fact, Kuro and Miracle, they're eyeing up these these opponents, but the spirit is out. Up, he's still dancing around with Miracle, has to back away from the rocket barrage. Oh, Matu actually got the uh, bounty with his bear when there was two of the secret heroes standing on top of it. So three bounties claimed for Team Liquid. All right, we'll see what... Sort of lanes we are going to have come out. Ace at the moment hanging around top. We'll see how much support Secret want to put up there. But at the moment, mid one is going to be backed up with Poppy hanging around this mid lane. So, Kunkka versus Lone Druid. How, how do we expect this one to go down? I would imagine Lone Druid would win this. I think Kunkka can still farm really well because of the Tidebringer though. But as soon as you hit level 5 on Lone Druid, I've said it time and time again, that's when you can start actually pushing this hero, the uh, Kunkka, out of the lane. First few levels though, they both farm. Trade farm. Puppy making his move down towards the bottom. So Secret keeping three heroes down here, looking for the aggression. Liquid, they're splitting it up across the map. They've got two down bottom, two up top. And Yabso is making the pull, bringing the creeps around to himself. Miracle, to deal with Fada. He's got the rocket barrage. Gush comes out though, Miracle. Down to half health, Puppy as well. In the neighborhood, doesn't have the Thunderstrike, but he does have the Glimpse, dragging Miracle back in between the two of them. Fada's gonna have Gush back up in a second. They'll look to chase this down. Miracle popped the rocket barrage, he's gone. My goodness, Secret, already with a second kill. I mean, you mentioned it. These aren't normally the level one skills you, you see to be taken, but it's working out in this lane against this Jara who's just getting burst out. So they're prioritizing that Ace is going to do just fine top on his own. He won't farm great, but he'll get some levels, and then they're just going to be able to pressure Miracle, and that's going to be their goal for the game. Maybe they'll move out after Fada gets a couple levels, just because he has Gush level one, so it makes his uh, sustainability in the lane a lot harder. So that could be another reason why they wanted to go for that here, but... At the start, we do see Liquid, the CS, kind of as expected, the Lone Druid having, you know, two heroes, the kind of two little mini heroes, you're able to do pretty well versus this, but Kunkka catches back up nicely. I mean, talking about Ace being bullied in that top lane, he had to make the walk all the way back as he ran out of mana. Yeah. So a lot of time where Ace is getting nothing out of the top lane. Slow start for the Weaver because of the laning that's... situation from Liquid. That is a lot of downtime early on. Yeah, that's actually pretty devastating that he yeah. got pushed out that, that early. Maybe eating a couple mana burns plus, like, mana leak, he just got all of his mana taken away and he couldn't stay up there. That's really, I don't know, that's that's going to be really hard for Secret. I think they ha they have to go up there and help him now. Oh, okay. I don't think it's a good idea to leave that Weaver fully sacked. Down bottom though, Miracle in trouble. Three heroes on top of him. And we'll get the glimpse back again with the catch. Miracle trapped under the tower, surrounded. He's trying to get out with the rocket barrage. One more touch would do it. It'll be the fairy fire keeping him alive. Fada's going to continue to chase, hunting him down. They've got the vision from the spirit and Secret will claim it. A third kill for Secret as they punish Miracle once more. So Miracle is dying in this bottom lane. His levels, though, look a little bit better. The CS 6 for 2 against the 3 for 0. So interesting how both both safe laners having a tricky time at the start of this game with the way each side's playing. Ace is getting very little, though. Yeah. Pretty much nothing. Only four last hits on him. And this is, this is pretty scary, too, because now 
You're setting up for a Nyx Assassin who's going to have an incredibly good game here. And he can pick off these supports pretty easily. He's very good versus Elder Titan, incredibly good versus Disruptor as well. It is pretty painful. Look at this, poor Ace. This top lane is an absolute disaster for Secret. When you get a Nyx Assassin off to such a good start, yep. he's going to get early Arcane Boots, very early 6. He can punish all over the map. Mid lane, pretty much uh, even trading at the moment. Yeah. Two of them. It gets like, to level, once level 5 comes out yeah. alone, it's, it, that's the big one. Oh, so was, and that's when we'll see how it changes. But, I mean, mid one, he's got a bottle, he's got a lot of sustain, he might actually be able to just stand here toe-to-toe -to -toe with the uh, Tidebringer. Now, Secret sending their supports up towards the top lane. I think they, they, ha they have to. They have to do something to alleviate this pressure on Ace. And he's there. I mean, if you look at it, sure, Kunkka can scale, because, you, you know, people know the attacker build, the phase boot, like, armlet, uh, etc. into crits. Puppy, he's got the glimpse. Oh, back back GH. Into the field, or just over it, in fact. And it's going to force GH to head the other way. They'll run him down. Continue just to chase. Ace comes over, but he's actually out of mana. So he can't Shikuchi any further. He does have a mango if he wished to, but he's going to head back to the lane, look to soak up the XP. And GH tries for the TP, but he's actually in range of the stomp there. Did look like he was going to be was... between the two of them. Yeah, that was just on the edge. Yeah, that looked like he might have got away with that one, but he didn't. The AoE was there just to hold him down. And he's Yapsal, making a lot of space. He is. Space certainly created. Puppy. We'll uh, go for a little bit of a TP across to that tier 2, and we'll be able to finally control him with Yapsul. Bottom lane, though, Fudd has been left alone. He's in trouble. Miracle and Kuro chase him down, and they will get the kill. Miracle, more gold into the bank. So, yet Liquid able to capitalize on that space that GH was creating around the mid lane. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still pretty concerned for Secret. Uh, Ace, he's starting to get a little bit back yeah. into it, but he's really their uh, main hero that they want to be having a good game because he's very good versus three of the, at least three of the heroes on the side of Liquid. On bottom lane, trying to set up onto Miracle. They will find the sleep. Closing the gap with three. Disruption from Kura holds back Puppy. So this follow-up glimpse won't be there quite straight away. They'll turn towards the easier target as Kuro does get left behind. Three heroes surround him. A secret of find Kuro, but Miracle will be kept alive by Kuro's selfless play. Yeah. You know, it is a five kill. Five to one. But you see Liquid still holds that gold I mean, advantage. I'm looking at this top lane, as you say. Ace is struggling on mind control. Midas. He is free farming out of his mind. Midas there, five and a half minutes. And that's got to be the quickest Midas on an offlane Nyx Assassin in a long time. Probably ever. Yeah. In an offlane Nyx, I would that say that's <laughs> probably the fastest Midas ever. Mind control, ready to carry this game. Puppy, Kuroki's got the five stacks well, on him. It's just not enough. Well, that was close. Well, Kuro himself has to be a little careful. Fado was moving in onto Miracle. He'll turn around towards Kuro, but Kuro's already out to the side. We'll escape. But yeah, I, I'm excited to see what Mind Control does with a start like this. I mean, yeah. do, do you agree with, with it going that well? Are you sort of glad he got the Midas, or is it a little bit... Is the Midas a good pickup when it's this quick? Surely it, I, it has yeah, to be. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a five-minute Midas. It's got to be so tempting to get yeah. it. But yeah, absolutely. They do beat him down. Yeah, he was trying. Killing spree anyway. <laughs> Kuro was desperate for Puppy's life there. He really wanted it. He couldn't quite get it. And Yaps are 3 0 3, all six kills with his involvement. He's got to put in the heavy work to make up for the, how the lanes are going. I mean, oh, it is, yeah. like we said, 6 to 1, secret favored, but they're behind 1,000 gold and 1,000 experience. Yeah, Ace is continuing to struggle up top. Mid Midland tried to use, uh, he tried to use boat actually to kill the bear there. Okay. But it got quickly pulled back by the recall. And Yapso again down bottom. They move in. They push Miracle back towards the tower. This carnage just doesn't stop down bottom. That's the second Midas for Liquid picked up as Matuma Man finishes it on the lone druid. So running the double Midas on both of their cores. Sure, there's seven kills for Secret, but the the net worth is pretty much bang even. Yep. And with two Midases on Liquid's lineup and the fact that Ace is struggling so hard, it's they're going to need a lot more kills, it feels, for Secret to keep this one in the, in the bag. Hey, they're keeping that pace up, though. They're giving, they're getting fought off to a good start. Radiant Same thing with the Kunkka. But we are seeing those discrepancies oh. start to happen. Spike Carapace does catch out Ace. Ace. We'll still be able to get back again. They're falling solo mid lane. They've got the sleep. They've got the setup. There's the defensive disruption. Kuro protecting Matuma Man for now. He'll duke out the torrent. May still be dead. They have the control with the X mark. They'll get the kill. They look towards Kuro. They take him as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh I mean, this Elder Titan. There's a reason why I <laughs> Well, we saw what banned out in the series earlier where Secret wouldn't play. There's, there's a reason why uh, Liquid sort of is traumatized by this hero. It is just absolutely terrifying. 100% kill participation in the first eight minutes. Six of those kills. 
Feels good. Mike Control now with his first rotation though. Once he gets those Arcane Boots, it's an easy pick off there. Mid one was very low, just trying to farm a creep wave. Oh my goodness. Well, this game so far is opening definitely everything. I think everyone would hope it to be both teams with uh, definitely the, 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 the strengths that they're coming out of the laning stage with. Liquid, these two cores, the fact that Matuma Man and Mind Control did so well. Mm -hmm. But Secret having very high impact with their roaming. And Japsor just playing out of his mind here in the first nine minutes on this Elder Titan. Oh, Miracle misclicked the creep with the rocket And there. look who's down here as well. Mid one's there. Kuro again with the disruption, trying to hold Mid one back. But Fada pops the Ravage. They'll hold Miracle in place. The boat comes through. Can they bring him down? They can. X Mark back into the torrent. Mid one. Has got the control. Secret's got priorities in this game. They saw what Miracle did in the last series. They are like, no, don't let him play the game. He's bottom four net worth on the gyrocopter. Look at this mid one. He was trying to look for more. Crow will be able to get himself away. Yeah, Miracle absolutely suffering. Yep. And uh, Ace, even though he was pushed out that hard, he is, he's in fact ahead of Miracle. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely the approach that it's nice to see these two teams take it. We've seen so many games where safe laners are just given all the space in the world. This this game, at least, it's it's not happening. They are the prioritization for both t teams. Up top ace, getting low again, being forced back by GH and Mind Control. He's out of mana. He's got this one charges, and that will be enough to get him out with a second Shikuchi as he does escape. Just an annoyance, pretty much, with by the mana leak and by the mana burn for, for ace. Some real pressure onto this bottom tower. Mid one and Fada push him. But they have man to. Teeping down. They want to try and fight here, Liquid. Kuro's got the setup onto mid one. They'll bring the bear in. It's looking to surround him, mid one. Dropping the Kapo over him. Trying to hold them back. Gets it onto two. Spike Carapace is there from Mind Control. Holding mid one in place. But he's going to be fine. They bring Fada in on the front. The three man Torrent. Torrent from mid one comes in. Takes down Kuroki. Now they look towards Mind Control. He's going to pop as well. Secret get both. They're getting everybody out of there. No one to fall on secret. They take down two and mid one. What a what a torrent on the way out. He was incredibly low. That boat as well, giving him that 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 run to keep himself alive. Look at that stack. That thing is enormous. Oh, Miracle, Miracle and GH want that one. Hasn't got any points in the flat cannon yet though with this nope. build. They have to. I think they have to bring like a couple heroes up here. Bring the tide in order to try to clear that one out so Liquid doesn't go for that steal. That is a very massive stack. 12 for 2. There we go. So Mind Control's fastest Midas pick up before 15 minutes. Yeah, this, this game a little different for the man. Yep. About what, t 10 minutes quicker than his fastest. That is quite an improvement. So I was saying something before was uh, that Secret, with their lineup, they have to claim towers early on because they don't really have these natural tower pushers while in comparison to Liquid. So when they do go for those like heavy committed ganks, they really, really want to transition it into a push. Ah, here we go. Miracle now with the first point in the flat cannon. But Fada, he's here. They are. They're ready to protect him. Mind Control comes through as well. Sentry's been dropped down, so Fada knows he's there. Ace has to time-lapse back. Takes the full brunt of the rocket barrage from Miracle. And indeed, Fada's going to try and clean up these himself. Mind Control still looking to fight. They do see him. They're looking for the stun, but the Ravage comes through from Fada. It might not mind. Just, Fada just gets melted by the rocket barrage. They found the stun. On to Ace. The Illuminate's enough. With the final right-click from Miracle, they get the double kill. And he got Liquid a, take them both down. He got quite a lot of that stack as well from that call down. That, um, ma that magic damage versus Tidehunter. It's just far too much. Not having a raindrop, not having a cloak or anything along those lines yet for the Tide. Choosing to go for phase boots into a bracer. We've been seeing uh, Secret really liking drum as an item from what I've been seeing on all their games. See mid one even built one on the uh, Kunkka. But that's, you know, that's a little bit more expected. Now look at this pressure up top. Liquid still hanging around. Four heroes with their eyes on Tafada. They are going to get the glimpse back though, Puppy. Look at the catch. Kuro pines sometime with the defensive disruption. Miracle has been surrounded. He still gets out of there with a phase. He's speedy enough. Backs off. Secret can they control in. Thunderstrike down onto Miracle, but they're looking for the turnaround. GH throws out the Illuminate. Catches onto two. All of Secret's coming from the right. Oh, they're bringing in the backup. They're bringing in the big forces. But cooldown's there from Miracle. He's moving on to Fada. They get the slow stun as well from Mind Control. They take down Fada. Miracle falling very, very low. The ult comes in from Yapsor. Clips onto two. They've lost two on Liquid. Mind Control also in trouble. He's got the Vendetta. They've dropped to Sentry. Do they have the vision? Mid one's gonna have to look for the Torrent. How is he gonna get it? No. Mind Control just out of range, but they continue to chase. Another Sentry's out. They have the control. They'll catch him with the X mark. Mind control will buy some time with a spike cra carapace, but Puppy gets the kill. Four down on Liquid. Secret punishing that aggression there. I mean, it's 16 to 5. The kill's still going Secret's way. 
But the farm, it is still there for Liquid. Matuma Man's had all this space down bottom. He's top net worth, and the other two cores close behind. It's pretty much even on the gold, but yeah. the experience is still leading Liquid, even though it's 16 to 5. That is, that's pretty crazy. But they did win, they did win like two lanes, kind of, in a way, with that uh, Nyx Assassin top and the Lone Druid in the mid lane. Secret just making a lot more decisive moves as a unit. And so far, Liquid has not really been able to poke towers whatsoever. Every single one, actually, top oh, towers look a at that. Low, but... The spike cap is onto the bug, stunning up ace. Mind control what? finds the control. Nice little play there. You gotta be careful with those bugs when a Nyx Assassin's around, as he will be quick to turn it upon you. Well, especially when it's. You wouldn't expect this too much, but it's a Nyx Assassin who's level 10 already because of that Midas pickup. So, Max Carapace coming yep. out on top of Max Stun. Incredibly good versus Weaver. Mid lane. Secret, they've got their eyes on Matumba Man. Mid one trying to find the X mark. Can't quite get it. Illusion. Up towards top, mind control. Takes the rune, they'll put a sentry out. Kudara wet. Hmm. And ping it immediately. Try to getting a bit more space down bottom. Nearly level 10 on the tide. So he will go for the hood right away, because what we were saying, you know, that heavy amount of magic damage from Coddle, Gyro, and Nyx Assassin. Definitely a problem for the tide rather than prioritizing the mech. And he did go, you know, the phase boots, like we mentioned before, too. He did have Arcane Boots queued up in the beginning, but just switched it up quickly. Mid one. And the X mark combo is going to be coming in onto GA. Static Storm as well, making sure that there's no answer from this Keeper of the Light as mid one takes the kill. 4-1-7 and seven on this mid lane core Kunker. So far, so good for this hero. We mentioned the catch, right? You know, the Spirit plus Stomp, Spirit so on top of catch. Glimpse, X as well. So many different ways to catch heroes in the back. My, Liquid do get a top tower and they're starting to threaten the tier two as well now, which is very good for them. But Secret are also pushing on their own. And then one coming in, seeing if you can get the grab, but when the Quibwell away, he was TPing through, already back up. Vada putting some heavy pressure onto that tier one mid, nearly taking it. He'll back off just in time to make sure the Kuro can't get the disruption set up. Tower will go down, Matuma Man will find the deny. Miracle caught up so well in this game. Oh, look at that. Top three net worth. While well, you look at Ace, Ace is still... I mean, look at, yeah, at Yapsor's net worth, actually. He's ahead of the Weaver and the Tidehunter yep. by a sizable amount. About a thousand gold for him. I mean, he's, he's got an Atos. Yeah, 15 minutes 15 in. minutes. This, that is, this is a support. It's a rich elder Titan. He's got to make a lot of work to bring it back for his uh, two other cores, though. They're still ever so close. And net worth is 16 minutes into this one. And both teams kicking it off in, in very, as I say, very different styles, really, to a lot of the other series we've had here at this major. Changing the way they play and a lot of heavy pressure early on on those cores. Yeah. And Miracle. As you say, with the Jar, understandably so, a little easier for him to catch back up in farm in comparison to the Weaver getting a significant lead above Ace. Secret's gotten some nice deep wards down during all their uh, aggressive moves as well, so they will be able to watch whenever Matu is farming so, in the jungle. Trying to go on to Fada, but that pesky Kraken shell. He just walks off the impale. And we'll be able to get out of the corner. Down bottom, they're looking for the bear, and they'll get it. 300 gold. A well needed 300 gold for Ace as well. Yeah. Mid one scouting things out with the Invis ring. Level 13, phase, armlets, drums. This man packs a punch if he can find the, the control. But a lot of space is now being given to Matumba Man. He's pretty much got that radiance complete. Yeah. Mid lane, mid one, looking for the setup onto Kuro. Goes in with the tiebringer hit. Now he's got the control, but at the same time, Kuro will have the disruption to try and play around it. He's actually not going to get the chance to do it. The control's there too quickly. Kuro's down. Mind Control heading in, looking for the lockdown onto mid one. He's got a boat coming through. The run might be enough to save him. It's on top of him, and that damage reduction is going to be enough. He's able to walk it off. They turn towards the bear secret, and they'll force back Liquid. Ace is looking for an attempt at a chase down. They have the vision and the glimpse onto Mind Control. Pops the spike, Carapace, and Impale to hold back the Weaver. Mind Control. Is he going to be okay? The sleep and the, the air splitter. splitter's coming in. They'll force him to the side, but he's still in range of the splitter. Gets dragged back, but they can't chase it. Spike Carapace was out again, holding Ace once more behind. Ace now continuing to try and chase towards GH. They get the vision for the glimpse, bringing the keep of the light by the Ravage from Fada. Comes out, catches four. That'll be the corner down. The Torrent onto two. Midpoint's got the follow up and the stun. The Ravage from Mind Control. He turns, holds back three. So at the end of the day, Liquid, they'll just lose the two supports. Mind Control doing his best to minimize their losses. Secret with very nice synergy of spells. Oh, absolutely. Boat, torrent, Stomp, 
And Ravage. I mean, Mind Control's thinking about going back in here, but the Spike Carapace is going to wear out. He gets dragged back into the torrent. The Storm's there from Yap, so another kill for the ET. Monster Radius kill. is on the bear. They've got to be aware of this. They're starting to back off as Matuma Man tries to chase. Homing missile on its way towards Yapsaw, but Secret, they'll get back. Kinetic Field will be dropped by Puppy, and Liquid will not be able to chase this any further. What a succession of events by Secret, diving all the way into the Tier 2, with, because they're playing around their vision, that's the important thing. They have that deep ward, so they've really wanted to play around it, they've, they're having really good usage of their sentries as well, always being able to find that Nyx Assassin yeah. when he's lurking around. And Mind Control, you know, he's trying, he is playing his heart off, but yeah. even then, as we saw, he does definitely that, that three-man impale that he hits, minimalizing the further casualties. Back the in the game, hit, like, they are one. looking for the bear and they will find it, but again, this combo, as you mentioned, just the torrent follow-up each and every time. Yeah, without that stuff from Minecraft, I think Miracle probably would have gone down as well. Yep. And Secret do. And back away, but yeah, 21 to 6. It's incredible to see this difference in kills, but the farm, I guess, is the power of having these two Midas's early on on Liquid. The I mean, gap is not that different. 15 kills advantage and not having a gold advantage is... Especially really at this early stage of the game. Yeah, that's that's really something. I mean, now they do up. have they do have an experience lead on Secret though because they are team fighting a lot. So and, and they're winning the fights. Is it much? It's like two thousand. Oh, it's not really it's not, incredibly yeah. substantial, but it's something. And the the big thing for me is that Secret's playing a bit more as a team for Liquid. But I think that's just like the nature of the lineup as well. Liquid doesn't really have like that where they just want to group up. Now they do because they have the radiance on the bear. But before that, no. But Secret's definitely making some very very good rotations and moves. And Ace, he's catching back up. Yep. He's climbing back up there. Does he have the defusal now? I think he does. He does. He's got the okay, defusal he's got complete. Up. And level 13, of course, already has that talent, so he does offer a fair bit of punch. And they have their ult. They're going to have all their ultis up soon. Oh, here we go. They're looking for a team fight up top. They will lose the tier 2 tower. Homing missile in onto the tight hand turn. Mind Control jumps forward, but Fada's going to be fine. He pops the hood. He'll be able to keep himself alive for now. Static Storm does catch out too. Fada goes in with a Ravage on the side. Finds two of them. Has the setup on the GH. GH getting taken down by Ace. The boat flies through. The Fear will send back mid one and Puppy. Miracle tries for the TP out, but Ace is there with a the chase down. Gets the double kill. Three members of Liquid and they have to try and get out of here somehow, but the glimpse comes through. They manage to you know, get him, bring out back the Matuma Man into the torrent. Do they have the damage? They'll surround him. Spike Carap is catching out mid one. He's falling low. Mid mind control jumps in, does finish off the Kunka, but Ace, he's got a triple. He's looking for more. Yapsaw now got back as he takes down a fourth. Kuro's trying to get out. He's not gonna make yeah, it. God. Double kill for Yapsaw. Secret, get the team wipe. <laughs> Dude, beyond God like Elder Titan. I mean, Yapsaw. I think what a player, what a man, and, and th this fight was so big, because now look at the Weaver. He's yeah. pretty much right back up there, level with Miracle. The whole laning stage has sort of been forgotten for these cores. They're back at the top. They, this positioning this time around for Secret was actually so phenomenal. The way that Fada runs in, runs in, he's out of mana because they used mana burn and uh, the uh, mana leak on him, but he pops the Soul Ring, he's able to get them with the Ravage, and the wraparound from Ace, he instantly kills GH before the fights start, so they come out at a number advantage, and then, like we mentioned, the catch from Secret. Liquid tries to run away, but they get glimpsed, they get axed, they get chased up from all the disables and catch that Secret has. Such incredibly good team fights coming up from Secret. And still, those numbers at the top just look, it's crazy. 26 to 8. I can't believe that they're actually, I can't believe they don't have a gold advantage. It's the, the farming speed of the Lone Druid and the Gyro for sure. As we mentioned with the Sumitises. But, I mean, Yapsor is, Yapsor is sitting at 7,100 <laughs> net worth. Beyond, I mean, this guy does not want to die. He's going to give up so much gold 10, if he does 0, go 11, down. That, I, I mean, that has to be what, just absolutely outrageous for a support Elder Titan. That's... I mean, both in a major finals, yeah, both teams a support with 22, <laughs> like 11 kills and 10 assists at this time. Now, here we go. Wow. Jason Kuro. Ooh. Quick time lapse as uh, Ace nopes himself out of there. Ace was looking for his uh, bounty rune with his bottle earlier, and he did see that my control was invis up there. He got hit by the. Uh, or he saw that the bounty rune was taken while the Ventet was having, so they got some information. Secret. Waiting for their ultis to come back up before they go for some type of smoke into an engagement. A little bit of a little bit of a low period, some slowdown from all the action for a moment. Mansa style complete for the miracle. Okay, so he can avoid a little bit of that catch now. Get rid of that Atos. Not have to worry so much about the X and the glimpse. I mean, X still a bit of a nuisance, but it's a bit of a tricky one. To yeah, you can still 
you know, you can still kind of dodge it, you but not, go with not the, in the same way. It's all about the mind games. Yeah, exactly. When it comes to dodging that one. Up top, Liquid. Knocking on the doors of the base of so Secret. Pushing in. We'll back off as soon as the TP start to come through. Mass TP's coming through to the Shrine, though. Secret are trying to cut Liquid off. Ultra ready. That's when they want to take the fight. They're ready to chase this time. down. Ravage comes out. It will catch both of them. Homing Missile holds back tight for now. They're looking for Miracle. He gets dragged back by the Glimpse. They'll continue to chase this one. Secret, hot on the case of this Gyro. I don't think there's any way the Miracle gets out. Unless the TP, they've got, they got anything to cancel. It the doesn't damage. matter. The damage from Ace at this stage is too much. Yep. As they'll get Miracle, they punish Liquid for pushing out like that as just a two-man. And Mib one. He's looking for GH. GH, he thinks he's hiding, but Mib1 sees him from the high ground, comes in. GH trying to get out of there as he blasts him back up. The, the boat connects. Ace picks up another kill. I mean, Secret's playing so well as a team. Every single time they have like one, like two or three ultis up, yeah. they just instantly start moving as a unit. It's not like anybody making these solo plays. It's really good coordination coming up from them. Liquid's still on the back foot of this one. Even though they have the gold, the quote unquote gold lead, it's been I mean, very, very little. But this is no. the thing, you know, Matuma Man is, he's still up where he wants to be on this Lone Druid. The farm, it's its all there. He's working on that AC, it's going to be in good time. Experience is starting to swing a lot, though, because of all the fights that Secret's winning, oh, they're starting to come up my quite a Control tries to come in for the steal, but the static storm was preemptively down from Puppy, so any sort of Aegis steal attempt was going to be impossible. Now they look for the setup, Ace. It's going to be fine as he backs off. Secret not looking to jump onto Liquid at the moment. They're happy with just claiming the roast, getting the Aegis, and keeping things cool for now. Shadow Blade complete on mid one. They don't want to give uh, Liquid the downtime at all. Since they have a team fight lineup, they have to keep the, that pace up. If they start slowing it down, that's when the Lone Druid, the Gyrocopter, these two heroes farm at very, very high speeds. So Shadow Blade, next item for mid one. And he has queued up a BKB. Okay. As well as Ace. Yeah, Ace is. He's got enough, hasn't he? What, 4,200 gold he was sitting on. And I mean, Yapsor too. Yapsor is getting closer to his DKB. Look at that. Just wants to get into the front. Doesn't want to have to worry so much about that carapace, which has been quite a nuisance. I mean, my control is the only disable, really, on Liquid's team. Disruption can kind of count it as one, but the actual stun factor is my control. So yeah. it's really up to him to stop and uh, slow down the combos coming out from Secret, but it's, it's quite a tall task. And look at that, I don't know if you saw the stat, but this game, yeah, so with his 10 kills at 21 minutes, he's only surpassed it once when he was playing Rubik against Vega in Dream League. I think we remember that I game. think I remember that we game, were, yeah. I think we all remember that game, where uh, <laughs> he went out of his mind on the Rubik. Be sure to look it up if you guys didn't catch that one. 26 minutes, you say, secret. Uh, the game plan is to keep up the pressure. They've certainly been doing so, so far. 28 kills with this lineup. Yep. But uh, Liquid definitely still finding the farm. Oda's got his eyes on to Kuro. Miss it round as well, Kuro. Get forced back, but the glimpse is there from Puppy, dragging him back into the field. Kuro will defensively disrupt himself, but he's almost certainly going to go down as long as Ace can get a touch in, and he can. Ace takes down Kuro. I still can't believe that they don't have a net worth lead. <laughs> the 21 kill advantage. <laughs> that's, that's really something. But yeah, still, they're making all these aggressive moves as soon as their ultimates come back up, like I was mentioning. They just keep the pace up. Jump four from Mind Control. They get the stun and the missile onto Ace. Not really any other way they can follow up onto that. They're just stalling by in time. Matuma Man's bear was pushing in the top lane, shoving the creeps round. The sleep onto Mind Control, down bottom. They're looking for the setup. They've got the X-Mark onto the Miracle, but... Well, Time Force gets him back, uh, Splitter still connects, but he's fine. Mid one gets knocked back up into the base, he will get forced down, they're trying to move in onto the Kunkka, but he's got more than enough health to run out of there. Miracle's been trapped in the Static Storm, the Gyro will still go down. Secret get that big kill, Miracle down for 50 seconds. Just the amount of control and grab, it's just impossible to play against when you don't have a BKB yet. Yeah, you can't run, even though they have... We've seen some nice force staff plays coming out from both GH and from my control. It's still not enough to save them when there's so many different ways. X comes out, yep. another stomp, another glimpse. It's so many different ways for them to bring back Liquid's heroes. And now Liquid's, I mean, they're they're kind of trapped in their base for a moment. Yep. Their Matu can start running to go push out a, se a separate lane, but Secret really keeping up that tempo, really keeping it, keeping the pace up. And now they have claimed a 1k gold advantage with 22 kill, <laughs> 22 kills up. How's Miracle doing with his items? Obviously, we just saw him get knocked out. Does it, I mean, does it surprise you that he did go for the Manta before a BKB in this game? 
I just don't. I think he's like. I don't really want to have to get a BKB so early because if you do get it so early, you don't really do do that much damage in the fights. And then if you have to use it defensively every time, it ticks down. And if it gets to five seconds too early, he's gonna be in a world of hurt. Ultimate man. But Ooh. he is very slow in that BKB. It's gonna come out in quite a long time. Ultimate man going for the full wrap build, of course. AC into the Aghanim Scepter. He knows yep. that if he can split this uh, team fight up from Secret, because that's what it really is. You look at Secret's lineup; they want to shove down lanes. Biter's five, dealing with split push. It's, I mean, they've got the Kunker, which can do pretty well with the whole X mark, TP back, yep. push the way back out, get back in on the action. Uh, but split pushing Lone Druid late game could be quite an issue for Secret to deal with. Yeah, I think Liquid also, you know, the, I, I've seen this time and time again, at least from when they're playing with the Keeper of the Light, they have a certain timing. Usually it's around this 24 to 32 minutes when GH does get the 4 step plus the Ags, and then it's usually just go time. So I think with the Ags on the Coddle plus the BKB on Gyro, that might be when they actually just are able to take these fights versus Secret. I think it'll still be extremely difficult because of how insane the team fight really is on the side of Secret with all these heroes, but that's probably what they are waiting for. And we do see a DD rune inside of mid one's bottle for the next engagement for that Kunkka, so we'll probably see Secret look to pick a fight since they've got everything up. Uh, very close to having those two more BKBs though on both. Mid one and Yab, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. really close to. Onto the bear. They can uh, kill it, they'll slow down with the Gush. Uh, trying to give it a go. They're gonna throw the boat on it. Yeah, they really wanna get that 300 gold. Take down that bear at every opportunity they can. Do they have enough? Savage Royce trying to get himself away, but the Gush gets in and the bear will be beaten down. Oh, and Yapso secures that last hit. More gold for Yap. I was seeing Yapso, this support Elder Titan. More net worth than the Nyx Assassin that got her my just at five and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, man. That's how much he's been doing this game. Up top, they have the dust onto Ace. Quick BKB, TP out. Nothing to stop that one. Ace will escape. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. What a game indeed to kick off this Grand Finals. Kuro, imagine onto Puppy. Puppy drops the Static Storm, trying to hold them back. GH manages to find the angle to knock him back. And with the wraparound for Miracle, they'll claim Puppy's life. I think that's the Aghanims finished on the Coddle and also the BKB for the Gyrocopter. So these big item timings, as I was mentioning before, has been hit by Liquid. But can they take the fights first as Secret? Still going to be very difficult. BKB finished on Kunkka as well, and I believe Yapsor is about to have his done too on the Elder Titan. Just about 200 gold. Nearly level 18 as well on yeah. Yapsor. That's going to be a lot of damage from the splitter. That 50% max is a lot. On top of the spirit as well. Absolutely so terrifying to, to try and fight Secret head on. Ace going for the uh, MKB next to deal with that evasion coming out from both the Blinding Light plus the Radiant Spare and probably assuming that Gyro will build into a Butterfly next, which he is. I mean, when Miracle starts to see that MKB come out, is there any reason for him to, to get something instead of the Butterfly or is Butterfly just still such a, a value item on the Gyro that you, you just get it anyway? I think it is really valuable. Maybe we'll see him switch into more of an HP build, but I think he probably will just stick yeah. with this. We shall see. Secret. Still all positioned together. They're starting to push their lanes. Push their lanes in so they can go for a fight. So daytime will kick in in a second. And that will be the first daytime with the Coddle Agnims. We'll see if Liquid can make anything happen with it. Because they have been losing majority of these fights. If not all of the fights. Matumba Man, 500 gold or so away from having Agnims on the bear. Mm -hmm. So then this sort of new stage of the game will begin where it's a question of if Secret can deal with the split. Secret, group up top, and take themselves another tower. More money into the pocket of Ace. Ace and Miracle still absolutely even in farm. Bottom lane, a bit of a go being made onto Miracle. He will look to Manta dodge. He's actually going to mess it up. Does get forced back, and where they will get Miracle away. Mind Control turns with the stun onto the tide hunter, but Secret coming in in numbers. They want to try and fight Liquid. They do have the full force here. Ace pops the BKB, turns towards GH, trying to take him out. GH will be forced back. Ace continuing to chase with the Shikuchi. GH looking for the Jukes. GH, he's still running. He's actually going to get out of there. 
Ace fully commits for that call, doesn't quite get him. Two-man torrent comes through, Yapso, he always found the stop. Splitter. He's got the splitter, on to two, comes through, Miracle pops the BKB, but it's too late. Miracle's down, Static Storm and X-Mark to control, mind control, secret. They don't just find two, they find three, as Kuro's picked up on the side. They'll be able to beat down upon the bear, and guess who gets the bounty? It's again Yapso picking up the plus 300 gold, and he deserves it after a combo like that, finding the perfect angle for the ultimate as his flawless game continues. They didn't even have to commit the Ravage, but that Earth Splitter absolutely securing Secret the fight. And that was with the daytime plus the Caudal Agonims, the first showing of it. They just oh. got ran at so hard. Fala does get knocked into the base there, but I don't know if GH is too happy about that one. There's going to be the vision to glimpse him back. He's stuck in the field. They're moving on to GH. GH is down. Miracle trying to push them back with the cooldown. Going in with the flat cannon. They've got the time nuts, but he's timed out straight back into the stun. He's falling low. He's doing the Shikuti. He's going to be okay. And indeed, Miracle Man to dodge. Wow. That was He's gone. Nice He's back. Man to dodge, but still, Secret, they're threatening the base. Yep, they're They've standing got everybody tall. up. The Coddle's still dead, and they still have Ravage during all this. But A little low on the mana. They will back up as the Glyph is used. 30 foot. What a game this is. Look at the wraparound Liquid. They're coming in from the Shrine. They want to try and catch Secret up. A Secret, they don't go for the long walk. The majority of them, they just TP out, and that will stop themselves from being caught out by Liquid with that TP in. The Tomb of the Man keeping that top lane shoved in on the Lone Druid. This is pretty insane how well synchronized the uh, Secret is in this yeah. game though. Like, I'm very impressed with their movement on the map this game. Getting the deep aggressive wards every single time they take these advantageous fights. And just the spell usage in the fights have been almost perfect, if not perfect. Another DD rune now on in mid one's yeah. bottle. And he has gotten the 25 strength talent, so a good amount more damage coming up for him. As a gem picked up by Yapsil, so Secret can continue to maintain map control. I believe uh, the Tide. Bardis just picked up a Shiva's Guard, and it we'll was... see this again down yeah, bottom. The a miracle already low, and the BKB usage, as we'll see, does not save him. He gets dragged back into that perfect setup. The X Mark into Torrent, into Stomp, into Splitter. No chance for the Gyrocopter and the fight is all but over for Liquid. Miracle wanted to hold his BKB for such a long time there, but he got X'd back, got hit by the stomp anyway without pop able to pop it and just gets destroyed. And he has chosen to switch up his build since he saw the MKB finish. He is gonna go for a, a Mjolnir. Oh, look at the setup onto GH, the, the double force getting him out, but he'll still be dragged back by the X mark. Kuro will disrupt him, but he is still gone. GH is out, they'll jump forward for more. Secret, they've got their eyes on Kuro. He's trapped in the kinetic field from Puppy. And the Secret claim both supports. Once again, Roshan's up if Secret want to take it. What, if you get spotted by this Team Secret draft, you're dead. They have, it's just far too much catch for you to run away from. And now with the DD on Kunkka, the, with the bugs as well in the medallion, they can make the way into the Rosh and clean it up very easy. And I gotta say, this, this Kunkka, this pick that sort of surprised us all, mid one has just been playing it perfectly. The draft yeah. has complemented it so well. He's 9-2 and 15. Mid Kunka coming back into action in the grand finals of the major. He just cheese on secret now. They're in an incredibly comfortable position. And then we talked about this. Miracle will change it up, so I think he sees the MKB. Yeah. He picks up the Maelstrom instead, ready to yep. deal with the uh, the inevitable push of the stronger creeps as secret can take racks. They need something. They don't have the damage in the fights at all versus all the mitigation that secret has. Absolutely not, and Fada, very close to having Blink. If you can get him range and get that Anchor Smash off, especially with that boosted plus 25% damage reduction talent, damage is certainly going to be an issue for Liquid. It already has been, but yeah, it would make it even harder. <laughs> yeah. Mind Control, he is top. I was scouting out that the Weaver was pushing. Haste. Mid one on the hunt. Let's see if he can get a grab. Liquid doesn't want them to reach their base. It's the biggest thing. They have to just keep pushing out these lanes as hard as possible. He's with the haste. We'll get himself away. MKB complete on the Tumba map. So now himself amping up the damage he can offer in these fights. And look at this mid. Ace. He's leading and he has the rest of the team sweeping over. It is still nighttime. It's gonna kick into daytime in about two minutes or so. 
GH very close to that Ghost Scepter and he absolutely needs it with the way that Ace has been playing. Each and every fight, the Weaver just making a beeline immediately for the Keep of the Light. Yeah. Their, their choice in targeting in this game has been just incredible. It's really up to the splitting up, split push as much as possible now for Liquid to buy time for themselves, but will time even help them? They're in, they're on quite the back foot, and the later it goes as well, it's not like Secret doesn't scale. They do scale quite hard with this Weaver and with Kunkka. Yeah. That new talent system, the 50% Tidebringer Cleave, is a lot of damage that comes out once he's got Daedalus. We've seen, I'm sure everybody has seen Attacker in like the pubs and stuff. He is his favorite hero for a reason. Oh, mid one's got to be careful how far he comes out. Mind control. Looking to catch him out. He is going to walk outside of the base. Mind control. That's the vision. They are ready to make a go on him. And with the setup of mind control, they're going to have a pretty good chance at it. BKB has popped though. Mind mid one turns. Trying to man fight up. He knows he's got the backup because Vada comes in. Lands the Ravage. BKB was in there. Was there in time for Miracle. So Miracle will escape. But Kuro and mind control pay the price. The Kunkka bait was real. Mid one at this stage with their BKB is just far too tanky. He, for these heroes of Liquid to deal with. Like BKB armlet plus the 25 strength talent. He is. Yeah. He's super durable. That was quite a bait. Liquid's still just trying to keep these lanes pushed out so they can get more farm. I mean, Matuma Miracle's Man's net worth still. continues to skyrocket. Yeah. Despite the odds. Miracle's still just trying to be on that catch-up train. Having to force, having to buy back earlier. It's on his way toward the Aghanims, but... Whew. And Ace is in. Onto that tier three, looking to open up the base of Liquid. Fortification will be popped. Having to defend with two teammates down at the moment. Team Liquid. Secret know this. They want to force in as hard as they can. They'll look to try and get the tower. They'll be knocked back, so can't quite finish it off for now. Homing missile connecting. Onto Ace. They'll mark the bear. Make sure that he causes no issues. Now Mip1 moves in, and it will be able to finish the Tier 3 tower off. The full lineup back up for Liquid. So Secret have to be careful. Mip1. Coming missile inbound, he's got a backup. He has the rest of his team around him. Mind Control jumps forward, quick four star, creating the space between mid one and Mind Control, but Liquid they're looking to chase. They really want to try and catch something, but they walk straight into the static storm. Miracle bots the BKB, looks towards the easier kill as he takes down Puppy. Can he get anything more? Ace, shakooching away, he does still have the Aegis on Weaver. And he'll be fine, Fada spotted out on the sidelines. They managed to get the mana leak, he goes for the TP out, they've got the cancel. Disrupt. Options there from Kuro. He'll force himself up though. Fada, he's sliding away. Impales there from Mind Control. They'll knock him back with the blast. And Fada slowly but surely should go down here as Liquid. They'll lose a tier 3 tower, but they are able to take two of the lives of Secret in defense. The sheer amount of mana burn there is really what it was. They got throw the mana leak. They throw the mana burns constantly on the Kunkka. They're like, there's no mana on Kunkka. We can go try to take this fight. And they just run right at them with that. I'm a I can't believe but this lone druid. I mean, we have it's seen so games where lone druid can win against a lot odds. And yeah. sure, they're, they're down 11 to 38, but it isn't a, it's only a 1k lead for secret. It's quite incredible, really. No other game has been like this here at the major. And now Liquid are moving in. Mind control for the stun. Mip one is in busy. He's trying to set up with the X Mark Torrent onto Mind Control. Does find the combo. Yapsil putting things to a stop as he sends Miracle to sleep on the side. The pop fortification. TP from Puppy coming in towards the tower. They're still sticking around. Liquid Miracle heading back in. Pops the BKB. Looks towards Puppy. Puppy's going to go down. They find the disruptor, but Miracle has to back up. The BKB wearing off. They'll lose the bear. 300 gold for Liquid, and they're getting more. They're focusing Miracle without the BKB. He's falling low. They'll force him back. The Ravage from Fada tickles him, catches him out. Miracle's down. GH pops the Ghost Scepter, but the Shikuchi from Ace bites through. They found three secret, and they're not done yet. They're looking at more Matuma Man. They have the Gush. They surround Lone Druid. Triple kill for Ace. Yapsor will die to the bear. His first but Liquid death. have lost four. Very good buy back there by uh, Fada. Even though he didn't have like a crazy amount of time left. Yeah, he had a good amount of time left, actually. Good buy back, though. Getting a big ravage on and those targets. They are going to get the wipe as well. Control yep. is there from mid one. Ultra kill for Ace as they put a stop to Liquid as Liquid try and gather some momentum and leave the base. But again, a minimal goal change. It's it's such a strange game, Fog. Well, that was... The goal change is really because Yapsor is on that Beyond Godlike streak, right? Oh, they get, that they was, finally yeah. got the streak, so that was... Oh. Big reason for that one, but also, the bear. Admiral versus bear, and it's not going great for the Admiral. Some backup has Ace, arrived, though. <laughs> he's falling low. He's got to be careful, mid one. He's trying to be into the bear. 
from a Tumor Man. He's looking to take the bear out of there. The bear did recently die, actually, so he's got to make sure he keeps us alive. And with the Savage Roar, he will be fine. The bear, I should want to say that. If the Gush comes in, but he's not got the mana. He's chasing. The face boots. We'll Can he get, get it? it. <laughs> face boots in two. He wants that bear. Can he get it? Nope. Oh, he'll get it out. Poofs it away. It goes to where the Lone Druid died originally, so that's a pretty... Funny interaction since okay. he's not alive with that yeah. agonims. So just what drawing him as the, the enemy is far away from that spot. Yeah. So it goes for that TP. So Ace has recovered incredibly well after you know hard early game, of course. He's gotten a lot of kills. Oh. And now he's looking for GH, but be out. I watch him queue up a nullify right after that moment. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, he's going for the ice, Scotty. Just wants stats. I won't be surprised. I mean, nullify has been <laughs> he a might. game ending item. Yeah, he might. He might just be able to purge off that ghost scepter. And it, will, it can stop the BKB from the gyro too, which can be really, really significant. We'll see if he switches, but Daedalus now finished on mid one and very close to that 25. For that Miyano as well from the Timber Man. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tide also hits 25 for the cooldown reduction. We're getting getting closer and closer to that super late game territory. Well, they've got the Ags on mind control as well, so the, the high mm -hmm. ground defense is going to get stronger and stronger. And there's an Ags, Ags on Miracle. On Miracle. With Maelstrom, it's one of the highest uh, damage outputs. Yeah, that side going to go on to, into overdrive. And he, and he is doing it as well. He's queued up. He's, he's queued it up, right? I, I was going to say... Another fire is just so good. <laughs> I was going to say, especially after those kind of things, yeah. where it's like, GH is his most important in the fights. Yep. That, I, I'm not surprised to see that happen. Yeah, I think I, I think it's a lot better than Scardi as well. Yeah, it's, it's, not like, it's not like his problem is that he's dying in the fights, right? I think he just wanted it so he can go for the catch, so he can have that solo chase mechanic, but I think with the no fire... Oh, it's better. they're fighting the bear again. Savage Roar sending them back. The Earth Splitter will catch it, and they should be able to find the bear with ease this time. Secret do take the bear down. Committing the Earth Splitter. Mind control. With that play, he finds the Spike Carapace into the Impale. They've caught out Ace. Do they have the control that they don't? BKB comes out. Ace time lapses. Shikuchi's away. Liquid trying to chase. I don't know if they can close this gap. They can't. Ace up to the high ground. He should be fine. Oh, Matuma Man's there on the sideline though with the Savage Roar on the roots. Onto Puppy. He ripped through the Disruptor. That's Puppy down for 70. Roshan, not quite up. Would have been the dream for Liquid there to be able to try and take it whilst one man down on secret. And one minute until Roshan respawns. And that's the big one too. That is the Aegis Cheese Refresher Shard one. And we do see Ooh. the level 25 has been hit on the Kunkka oh. for that Tidebringer Cleave. And soon we could see... I, mean, I was going to say, yeah, the Elder Time. What do we get? 25 on him. That 25 second cooldown on Earth Splitter is really, abs really, really absurd. You always have it up for all <laughs> situations. You don't take the 100% life still. I mean, that sounds a bit of a. Myth. I think we've seen. I think maybe we saw Inflame do it. I don't. Okay. I, I can't remember exactly, but it, it is a bit of a. If you're just getting a crazy amount of stacks up for that one, I think the Earth Splitter in this game is much more important. Poor old Fada. So many times this guy's been out of mana. Yeah. It's it's one of those frustrating games to play. Fada out of mana. And they're controlling the area around the pit. Matuma Man still adding to his repertoire of items. Bash is on its way out. And net worth difference, it's still, it's on the line pretty much. Yeah, my control is just sitting inside the pit. They're waiting for this Roche. They understand how important it is. So Secret has to make sure they push their side lanes out though. Otherwise it could be a bit of a problem going into that pit. Liquid is pushing in the top lane. The bear runs, oh. pushes out that one. And here we go, DD rune, of course. DD rune as well. Of course, right? Gaben is a Liquid fan. And here we go into the pit. And with that DD rune, they should find it. The spirit can't quite reach there. So no chance of Secret putting a stop to that. And that's the refresher shot as well. Actually going into the pocket of Matumba Man. More, more bears? No, oh, he switched it, right? Okay. Has he switched he... it? Oh, he's put it back. Is he going to give it to? No, he's going to hold he's... on to it. Okay. Just more bear. Yeah. Yeah. If he needs, I mean, three bears in a fight. If he does want to just send it in for suicide missions to kill people in the back lines, that could uh, be an option. Yep. Yeah. We'll see if they switch it. And the multiple Daedalus's will be the next choice of build for mid one. We'll replace that Tron and eventually the armlet. Great. No great. Oh, lots of damage though. On it the, is a uh, lot of damage Miracle. with that plus 50%. Miracle's actually going to get Glimpse back. They've got the vision. He does have the Aegis. Oh boy. They'll bring him down once. Can Secret continue to try and take this fight? Mind Control setting up on the high ground. Secret looking for the control. They have the torrent. Fada jumps in with the Ravage. Catches out two, three, four. It manages to clip them on the side, but the BKB comes out. Liquid ready to try and turn. Earth Split comes through onto two. The Tumor Man's Bear is still good to fight. He'll move forward looking towards Yapsaw. You have the Nyx Assassin still underground. He's been silenced though by the Static Storm. Mid one looking for Miracle on the side. He's trying to chase it down, but he gets forced back. He's out of mana. There's the homing missile coming in, but BKB popped by mid one. He's still trying to find Miracle, but he can't quite get it. The tie 
bring a cleave off my control to take down Miracle. Liquid have lost two. Now they've lost three as Ace Beyond Godlike catches Kuroki out. And they're not done yet. They're trying to chase. They're looking for more. Ace, he'll go straight towards mind control. Does bury himself underground. Goes for the TP and he's not going to make it. The sleep, the stomp from Yapso comes in. The bear is pretty big though. It turns towards Yapso. Takes down one. This bear, they've got to be careful of this bear. It's it a could trap. go ham. It's trying. They've got to be careful. Oh, the, the cleave off oh the God. bear. I love Conker oh, Lake games. Oh, Tidebringer. <laughs> what a spell. Oh my goodness. Liquid down four. Mind control. And Miracle without buyback. Oh man, Kunkka Lake game always oh. brings excitement, man. Mid one Kunkka. I, I kind of hope we see it again this series. And with the way it's gone this game, that might just happen. 12-2 and 20 on mid one. He has played it so well, but so has the whole side of Secret to enable it. They're looking for the bear again. Oh, They're committing the everything onto it with the boat. They are GH and Matuma Man trying to do their best to keep it alive, but it's gone. Refresh a shot. shot, summons the double bear. Gets the second one out, instant bash onto mid one. BKP is actually being popped as well by Matuma. It's a level 25 oh, sorry, the level 25 talent. Yeah. Excuse me. As they go in with the magic immunity, chase yes. down Kunka. They get the root. That'll be mid one down. Ace BKP is looking to Shikuchi away. Liquid desperately trying to chase. But Fada blinks out. Puppy still on the retreat. GH forces forward, manages to get the manager. They has the control. They have the bear in. Puppy will fall as well. As he takes his hands off the keyboard, accepts his fate. He survives. So again, Liquid God. finding kills off the back of this. They will hold on to the base, and there they are at a 2k lead. I mean, I, I can't. This is, this is not. I can't believe this is, what we are starting. Start, yeah, the, the major <laughs> grand finals with a game like this. The refresher shard coming in so clutch there for Matu to resummon the bear. Like, when would, when would you expect something like that, right? And as you said, that, that level 25 talent, super useful this yeah, game. The battle cry, oh, BKBs. Yeah. That is, it's, it's the dream against Secret's lineup, Fada. Always out of mana. Uh, I actually got to get got caught blasted out of the impale there. So, a little bit of a mess up. Mid one gave him his bottle. He's like, dude, I know you need this mana. Oh, GH. Got eyes on Yapsil. As something for the for the fan fix out there. GH and Yapsil going at one, each other one on one. The bear's going in. Beautiful support players. Yapsil. Put the BKB trying to run. The bear forces him back. Liquid now. They're pushing in on the base. Yep. Kunkka. Mid one does have buyback, but he really doesn't want to use it as he's up in 15. But this may cost them some heavy structural damage. Tier three's down. They're looking for the racks as well. By Carapus from Minecraft trying to put up Fada, jumping in with the Ravage. The racks are down. Liquid are able to claim the top melee racks. Kunka's going to be back up in a couple of seconds. We'll see how much Liquid want to stick around. They they absolutely can play it safe and just back off. The vision's there for Minecraft to get this back. But ooh, quick blink gets out of range of the Shiva's guard. Mind Control's out. 8k or 9k gold down for Liquid. They finally claimed the first Rax in this game. Whilst being 17 to 47 kills, and they really don't mean a lot in this game at Dota 2. It's all about the strategy, all about the way you play as a team. And I mean, Liquid taking the that first set of racks, if anything, it, it is their, their lead at the moment. Yeah. Having that sort of extra pressure being put in onto Secret, of course. Secret, they can do a pretty good job at cleaning out the stronger creeps. There is a Kunkka walking around with two Daedalus's. Yep. Or Daedalai. Would it be Daedalai? I think it would be Daedalai. I'd go with Daedalai. I'd go with Daedalai. That sounds better. That sounds nice too. Nullifier finished up on Ace and a DD bottled up. For the next upcoming engagement. Did it? Did Yap hit level 20? Yes, he took he the did, uh, 75. He did get the cooldown. Yeah. So we do have quite a lot of level 25s coming out. Some of them moving in on mid. Dude, oh man, playing. Fada just gets mana leaked non stopped. They've been doing. I mean, that's the one thing Liquid has been doing. Every single one of these fights, they just burn one of the heroes. Mana pool is incredibly hard on the side of Secret, and then they're almost at like a number advantage because of that. Because they can't really cast majority of their spells. Oh, look at the net worth on Amatuma. Oh, He's nearly 40k net worth. On oh, the lone druid. 15, almost 15,000 or 13,000 ahead of the uh, Weaver. That's. I mean, he has just incredible. kept it so cool this game. I mean, we, 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 we talk about carries just being able to bring it through to the later portion, and he has done just insane amounts to keep Li Liquid where they are yep. in this game at the moment. Full Satanic yep. was picked up by Miracle there too with that Aghanims. And Mjolnir too, he does an incredible, and Rapier is the next <laughs> He's choice. He's up the Rapier. 
And we may just get there as well. It's 52 minutes in. This game still able to swing either way. His damage and his sustain as the gyro now has gone up in an incredible fashion. Oh, because yeah. even if you are disabled, yeah. with that side gunner, the satanic procs still do heal you. So it can be very, very relevant in the upcoming fights. Secret just constantly trying to deal with the lanes because of this lone druid bear. DD in the bottle for Ace as he is ready to put it to work. The next opportunity that he finds, GH shoving in mid. He's to travel on Matsuma Man so he can continue to be even more global. He puts that one on his bear. Yeah. yeah. El Doge, it is called. <laughs> Abyssal Blade. And, uh, a lot of money on top as well. She's still there as well on the main unit. Art will be the next time for race, trying to beef up a little bit. As he does need it. Having that ability to sort of Shikuchi in and out, regen back up to full, could be major here. Mm. Ace on the hunt. GH starting to get a very high amount of gold too, 4,400 on the Keeper of the Light. Miracle. Maybe spotted out here. He's coming forward, drops the cooldown. That's the backup of mind control. What's the spike carapace just to stun up Yapsaw, but no interest in trying to chase down and close the gap as Secret are far away. Yapsaw gets good information with that spirit there, understanding where he was, and probably the majority of Liquid as well. Arcane power. Look at Fada. Has to go for the Lotus Orb. The mana leaks are just becoming yep. too much of a problem. Back so soon. Mid one. Clearing out these waves. Xing himself. Boots are traveling. With an arcane rune as well. The dream. So he's going to be able to have that up again very soon. You got to watch out for these Tidebringer hits. I tell you what. If GH yep. finds himself too near a Crete Rife. Clear as clean water. Liquid and Secret just sticking. As a group for now. Maybe a bit of a waiting game for the next Roshan before each either side gets aggressive and it's not long until it's back up. I think both teams really want to try to just take control of that river area. The double ruins as well as the uh, the Rosh is going to be the next Telltale for this game. And it's so safe, right? With for Liquid, they can split push so often with the bear at no risk. So you see everybody else pretty much in the base. Sure, Miracle is kind of sitting behind the bear. But he's also one of the tankier heroes on their team. He has to be a bit careful. Ah, they found the bear. The they X. do get the X mark. They'll be able to bring it back. And have they got the damage to do so? It looks like they certainly have. They surround it, chop it down. The bear will try and turn and fight, but the bear has gone. Now he has to be careful with the secondary bear. The first bear you can be a little bit more carefree, but can't lose that secondary one, or they just can't take a fight. See what they can get it. Miracle's coming fairly deep. GH has been spotted out on the back. The Nullifier connects. They have the vision for the glimpse. They're going to drag him in into the clutches of Ace. He gets forced back, forced again. BKB popped by Ace. He really wants to chase for this kill, and he should find it. GH is down. They'll get the Keeper of the Light, and they will back up. On the side, Miracle. He's actually been found. He'll pop the Satanic, trying to keep a light. There'll be a buyback from the Keeper of the Light. Miracle is very deep, and he is in a lot of trouble. Miracle's down for 100. Liquid do find Puppy on the sidelines. Father and Ace there, though, with the backup. Nullifier down onto Kuro. Kuro's gone. Liquid lose two. Puppy looking to survive. He tries with the TP, but he has to walk off with the creeps. They're looking for Puppy. Back towards the river. They do surround Mind Control. He tries to bury himself deep underground, but the AoE still finds him. Secret claim three. Only Puppy going down. Miracle's got to be careful of his positioning. He got oh, hit by the Ravage Roshan's and up. up, and there's a DD rune waiting for Secret. Whenever Yapsor is on top of any of these heroes, Look at these buybacks. that uh, Gyro, so much damage come out. And yeah, they have to go for buybacks. They can't give up this Rosh. Let's see if Miracle wants to come out. If they feel that just having the three heroes on map is a, enough to push back Secret. Secret are being careful. They are without Puppy, one of their big sort of team fight. Refresh your shard. Or refresh your orb yeah, on the launch. Refresh your orb. I mean, so at this stage, he's so rich, but to my man, yeah. he, really he can afford these these luxuries. The bear is the most. I mean, his bear is everything. Yeah. He really needs it. And they're going to try to catch it here. Uh, this bear receiving a lot of punishment from Secret. The boat comes through. They'll force back the bear. They're trying to save him, but the crit's too much. The bear's chopped down. Secret can't get a catch on to more. Liquid will back off. And a full E blade on the Keeper of the Light. Yeah. That man getting a heavy upgrade to his wand. Or staff, to be more accurate. And again, down to just a 1k lead at 57 minutes for Secret. 
And Secret backing away from the Roshan pit now that Liquid are back up as five. Was two buybacks for Liquid, yep. so a bit costly. But they have to do that in order to defend that Roche. Puppy with that, what, 180 GPM talent? He's uh, grinding his way close towards the Aghanim Scepter. He really is. It's going to be very nice against these BKB cores. Yep. Or at least yeah, against, yeah, pretty much just Miracle. As we've seen, if you can't get the BKB out, the control is overwhelming. And into the pit they go. That's a nice stat right there. Miracle. It's a toast. Glimpsed as well. It's the BKB. BKB. He starts to chase down Yaps. Oh, Fada comes in. Miracle has to back off. Roshan still stands. Another DD run bottom. Oh, and who's going to get their hands on it? It's going to be Ace. Ace with the bottle. Picks it up. But the, the bear, it is back door, though. I, he's manning up onto mid one. Mid one oh, the BKB. BKB. He wants this bear dead, and he will get it. That's got to be a refresher used probably by Lundra. So we have another bear. Same time, Liquid are moving yep. back into the pit. They know that Kunkka's down there, doesn't have his own BKP, but at the same time, Miracle's still waiting for it to come back off Ace with the DD rune, moving forward, turning towards Miracle. He's still got the backup of he Liquid, they'll turn, they'll get the stun, Ace is gone, he's messed up! Ace is down for 100, he gets caught out by the control. And now they're gonna get more Liquid, they knock back Puppy, Puppy down as well, Secret losing two. No, they'll have to buy back on both of these heroes. Secret do not want to lose this fight. Yapsil with the sleep into the Earth Splitter. It's going to just catch on to Kuro. He pops his BKB. The Ravage from Fada catches out Mind Control. Nyx assessing down. Double kill for Fada as he gets GH as well. And now Secret moving in. Ace turns towards Kuro. Kuro tries to disrupt him, but the Lincolns is there to block it. Three down on Liquid. And Six, they can see Kuro continuing. They're finding Matuma Man. They've got the Nullifier. Ace, has he got enough damage? It's looking to be so with the control from the X Mark and the Torrent. Mid one holds him in place. Matuma Man pops the G. But the damage surely too much. Oh, is he gonna get out with the ghost scepter TP? Oh, he's not indeed. The X mark is there. The Secret get him bottom. as well. He's able to almost. Oh, clean that he's looking bottom. for the rat, and he he's gonna find Puppy. Puppy trying to deal with this bear problem, and the bear is out of there. But Liquid did lose four heroes. That ravage by Fada, I think, actually caught all five heroes. That was from incredible there. from Fada. That was perfect positioning coming out from him. This is... And knowing Roshan's still there. Yeah, that was what, Ace buying back as well as Puppy? Oh, mid boy. <laughs> he loves killing bears. And uh, with this control from Puppy, they should have the... I mean, mid one taking a lot of damage. This bear is terrifying. Woo. Look at mid one's gold. I just realized he has 8,300 on the Kunkka. Nah, he's doing all right for himself. And it looks like Miracle has changed from that rapier. He's going to go for a nullifier of his own. And now, secret, they do make their way into the pit. Okay. And with Liquid still without the Timber Man for 40, Mind Control for 30. No way they can head over. So this will be a free Roshan for Secret. Yep. They finally win the war around the pit. Double Ravages, maybe even triple Ravages coming into play soon. I mean, our Puppy could actually hold a Refresher Shard as well, because he's, he's going to have the Aghanim soon. Yeah, double Static Stone. Probably on Fada though, because he's going to have Refresher on top of that. So three, three Ravages. Yeah, and they do give that, and the cheese as well. Radiance top shrine is under attack. And yeah, he does just have the mana for it as well. Yep. For the full triple ravage combo. I mean, yeah, what does mid one do with this bunny? No surprise, he's not picked up a moon shot. Oh, we'll see what the plan is. Maybe holding back in case he does need an emergency rapier to secure the game. If Liquid do manage to swing themselves back in the lead, but yep. as it stands, secret with that Roshan claimed, they are back in the better position. But it's it's still so close in mean, this game. He's gonna at least upgrade. Down. He's gonna at least upgrade his Shadow Blade into okay. a Silver Edge first, and then he can go Boots of Travel too. So he still has a couple yeah. couple significant items that he can get. How are we doing? Is everybody almost 25 yet? Disruptor's missing. That 25. Coddle and Shadow Demon. Scythe advice. Full hex on the Absor. Our lone druid's getting very close to the 12 slotted region as well. Refresher getting close to a hex on him. Haven't seen that in a while. Let's see what they can do mid. Look who's coming in on mid on the uh, side of Liquid. The bear's in there. Damage onto the tower attempted. I'll bring him straight back out. Kuro has to TP out. He's deep. Is he going to make it? He is. <laughs> that was close. They do find Miracle down bottom. Pulse the BKB. Father and Ace. Mid one trying to come in. No control through that magic community. Liquid do get everyone out of there. But to my man's bear, it's being focused in the river. Let's see if he can get El Doge out of it. 
and he may be in a lot of trouble with this one. They've got the Hex, they've got the Nullifier slowing him down, and the bear will go down once again. I, this bear's died a lot. It's Got been it. a very, very nasty game for any, any animal fans out there. Yep. Mind controls top. Yeah, yeah, popping the BKP. He wants to try and find it through any potential spike characters. Oh, they get the torrent. Mid one finds him hiding in the tree like oh. a quick crit. Mid one. Getting the catch. Yep, so with the gem there, able to spot him out in the vendetta. Look at the last hits just being brought up right there. Look at how farmed everybody is. Coddle with 257, Elder Titan with 180. <laughs> this game, unbelievable. And a Daedalus, the next choice. Yeah, absolute Daedalus. <laughs> I mean, why not when you've got that, well, that physical armor reduction aura around you when you go in? Yeah, he went the attack speed and yeah. the astral hero spirit attack anyway, so it's all about that deeps. And Ace has purchased up a full Bloodthorn yeah, at the base on okay. the career. I mean, yeah, Bloodthorn and uh, and Nullify. That's it. That's essentially a, a pseudo doom. doom. Yep. Yeah. And and a much better one of that with the amount of damage that Ace can punch into him with the crits. Mm -hmm. So anyone getting caught out by Ace is is very unlikely to survive for it. Refresh your orb now. Finish for Fada. Ace actually uh, getting in kind of deep in. See if you can catch anyone outside of the base with this newfound combo of items. He's managed to build up. Refresher has been finished He's now got his, on Fada. Got his eyes on GH. GH has to be careful how far he comes out. You know, Ace wants to try for it. Very quick blink from, a, from GH as he jumps himself back. The bear. And they're going for it once more. This bear having a pretty hard time. And the bear will go down once again. L Doge, not being able to doge many of these Oh, he's got the nullifier on him. Miracle, still okay though, with that satanic available. Secret, Secret. trying to press their advantage when they still have the uh, Aegis and Cheese. Yep, oh, Fada's got an Invis as well. And with that triple Ravage potential, could set up for something tasty for Secret. It's a bit low on the mana. But he does have a Cheese available as well. Did I just hear a BKB? Did Yapsil just pop his? Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's why he said sorry. <laughs> okay. He's apologizing. He's a, po he's, he's a polite man. Yeah. Uh, jump forward, Fada. Found Kuroki here outside of the base. Kuro, Atos, stomp down. He'll try and run, but he can certainly not hide from this. They've got their hex, they'll glimpse him back. Kuro is surrounded and taken down and, whoa. Ace, yeah. meanwhile, was pushing bottom. He was able to claim the range tracks. Oh, this bear go. He's looking for Yapsaw. Oh, He's got the Abyssal Blade. God. The bear! The oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, and Mind Control. He's jumped in. The wraparound's there from Miracle. They'll also catch out Puppy. They turn towards Ace. Ace pops the BKB. He's trying to pick up the back Bash. Well. This bear! This bear are you is out of me? control. The Bash is each and every time setting up for two very significant kills for Liquid. Ace, he does not have buyback. 110 seconds away, is it still on cooldown? He doesn't have the money on Ace? It was still on cooldown. Still on cooldown. Yep. Oh boy, and we've seen how quick this bear can push. There's also a DD rune waiting in the river. Was that like as the... He had, he had the Aegis as well, right? So that, was that like as the Aegis went away? As well as a bash on top? Okay, timings. Timings and... Uh, timings. Hey, Dota, luck is part of the game, guys. That's all skill. All skill. And they called GH. And they'll look to drag him back into the combo. Oh, he gets the blink off, though. Fada comes ravage. in with the Ravage into Earth Splitter. There's the refresher pop. He's looking for the setup of the second. The battle cry immunity allowing the bear to move towards Yapsaw. Yapsaw backs away as he retreats with the Glimmer Cape. Fada surrounded. Fada getting destroyed. There's the next Ravage. But he's still taking so much damage. Move one trying to help him out. Jumps in. He's looking for the crits. Got gets another it. one. The third Ravage. Fada still alive. Sets up for the kill on Miracle. But Miracle buys back straight away. The bear moves in with my control. They take down Fada. Fada's got the buyback available. He comes in. Miracle pushing in hard off the back of the buyback. Buyback from Fada, buyback from Puppy. Fortification as well as Secret looking to desperately hold whilst Ace is still on the sidelines. Liquid realized that that buyback's enabled for the Weaver and they're pushing in hard. They're taking the tier three. They're looking, looking for more. There's no ravages on Fada. They do find the Hex. Static Storm as well coming through. Can they bring this man down? A defensive disruption. Buying time for Miracle for Grover. The, the Tide bring a crit. It's nearly too much but the heals. Miracle keeping himself alive with the side getter. They're looking to want Fada. Fada will go down on a dieback if he falls. Can they keep this man alive? They can't! The stump from Mind Control comes into two! Fada's still alive though! He's backing off! Buyback from Millwall finally goes down Mind Control!
Control will be able to finish off the tide. He's down for good for two minutes. Matuba Man tries to TP, but Mubon's there with the control. x mark drags him back. Four star for Matuba trying to break him out of there. Yaps are holding him in with the run of Atos. He's looking for the storm. He finds it. Another four star to try and separate Matuba Man from Secret, but the Hex is there. x mark and Torrin as well. Matuba Man's caught out. Ace chasing for more. He has the vision for the glimpse. Poppy's got the control. yapsaw has got the deeps. Slaps down Kuro. Double kill for Yapsaw. Secret. Able to hold. That was all their buybacks besides the Weaver. A very costly defense for Secret. The heals coming up from GH as well as the defensive disruptions were absurd on the side of Liquid. Miracle did finally go down. He has bought back. <sighs> this game. We potentially got four more of these. I hope so. Scotty picks up a Miracle. He does have that Relic queued up. Maybe eventually the rapier will come through. We'll see. Just, it could certainly be a game for rapiers. I just brought up the kill, the kill board. Yeah, Actually, by got? accident. I was just looking. Look, take a look at the numbers while you look at uh, Liquid. Pretty much all of them are negative except for Matu, and everybody on Secret has an absolutely positive kill ratio. The, and then you look at the net worth difference, <laughs> and we're still somehow at less than a 1k. It's on the line. So it's just showing how close these teams are. Both teams approaching this game with a very different style of play but they're hitting each other absolutely bang even. And a game that can still go both ways. Secret's had a bit of trouble here, but Liquid is too. M Miracle had bought back. M pretty much everyone on the side of Secret bought back too. Weaver still has 900 gold until, about 900 gold until he can buy back, or 700 now. Yeah, but everyone being very, very careful with these buybacks on cooldown, as you say, and maybe yeah. even to the point where we may see a bit of a lull for six minutes. I mean, who's going to be able to force the issue first? It, it is what Liquid being the fact that they have less buybacks. We could just see a fight happen around this Roche pit, okay. and that could be the game. if Because it, it's going to be coming up very shortly. My control is scouting it out. I'm a Tumba man. He's, he's 12 slotting up. He's, he's getting himself a Hex. An extra bit of control. Hey, he's got Refresher he on top of it too, double right? Hex. So. I, I can't wait to see what he's able to pull off with that in the fights. He needs to save it more, though. For the bear. The bear is all the importance in these. Yeah. Maybe go for an Octarine next, right? So the lower cooldown. Yeah, who knows? Mid one's got a rapier. Yeah, They're ready to fight. Finally. They've got that hex. Defensive disruption. Buying time to protect Miracle from the static storm. They'll take the storm. They'll force him back, but Miracle gets the BKB and time. Turns towards Vada. Ace backing off as he BKBs. Looks to retreat. Earth Splitter catches Miracle, but it's not enough damage. Look at the damage coming out for this Jar as he looks towards Vada. Vada puts the refresh, but he has no mana. Mid one gets the double kill. The Tidebringer hits too much. He's still full health, Mid one. He's looking for the draw again. The Tidebringer cuts through. Triple kill for Mid one. GH will buy back. Yapsul's got the vision onto mind control. They claim themselves the fourth. Uh, can they do anything here, Liquid? With three heroes down, Matuma Man with buyback available. Ace does get picked off by the bear. Matuma Man finds one. Miracle surrounded. Oh, ultra kill for mid one. This rapier doing so much work in this team fight. The damage from this conquer off the scale. There's only a buyback from Matu. This could be a Well, be hey, look at that damage done. Oh my god. That rapier purchase. And it may have won them the game. There's three heroes down on Liquid. They don't have buyback. They need to just go down mid. Maybe even just ignore this Rax, just go for the tier fours. If they recognize that there's no buybacks, they are just gonna go for this though. Can they hold liquid? So much damage from this Kunkka as he heads in onto the tier three. But Summa Man trying his best. He's got the bear back up. Does get the bash up to Mibon. Mibon has to put the BKB in back up. This bear is terrifying. Glimpse. They've ca they found Matt. Oh, quick blast from okay, GH no. knocking them back. Oh, it will not connect, but Summer Man's gonna be fine. But no, the Ravage from Fada. It could oh, the Tidebringer! Tide oh, he gets one shot! He's th that's game. That is game without a shadow of a doubt for sure. Secret moving in onto the tier fours. There's no Matumba Man. Mid one. This game with his Kunkka. That Rapier pickup. Sealing the deal here for Secret in game one, 72 minutes. They're forcing the rest of Liquid back to the base. Surely there's no way Liquid can hold this. The Ancient is exposed. Kuro and GH trying their best. But the Ancient is falling. Secret, they surely they've done it here. That's four down. Kuro, the last man left surviving. He'll go down with the ship. 
What a game. What an absolutely ridiculous start to these grand fights. 27 at the end of it. I can't believe what we just saw there. That was... That was... Unbelievable. Mid one with the clutch cleaves coming in. The spell usage by Seeker in these fights, as well as Liquid with the...